Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm be ranking the top 10 centers in NBA 2K22 my team as of right now. Let me know in the comment section down below who are your guys' top 10 centers. What would you guys change about my list? Watch the whole video and then let me know what you guys would change about my list. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. So for their ado, let's get on to the video. Coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be Pink Diamond Eddie Curry. He's a center power forward, 7 foot tall, 7 foot 4 wingspan. He just came out this Friday. He came out yesterday on April the 1st. He's got an 81 three ball, 84 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Has a 96 strength as well, which is really good. 92 block, 90 interior, decent perimeter defense as well. 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. Pretty good rebounder. I will say he's not the best center in the game. Obviously, that's why he's at number 10. But I do like his jump shot on very quick release timing. I do think that is a very good jump shot. And he has the shift, the dribble style, which means he can handle the ball a little bit on the offensive end. And he could be a little bit of a stretch big. I do like that jump shot. Hall of Fame sniper, corner specialist, catch and shoot. You can get pretty much every shooting badge in the game. Has goal bullet passer, quick first step, unpluckable, tight handles. Has goal clamps, post lockdown, rim protector rebound chaser as hall of fame brick wall intimidator and box i do think the center position is a little bit weak at the lower tier that's why i think eddie curry does make the list still a really good budget center coming in at the number nine spot just a little bit ahead of eddie curry is going to be Christoph porzingis he's a center seven foot three tall seven foot six wingspan 93 three ball 93 mid-range not the best other stats than that but he's basically just a stretch big sniper hall of fame set shooter limitless spot up Difficult shots, dead eye, corner specialist, and catch and shoot. As gold, bailo, bullet passer, glue hands, and downhill. As gold, rim protector, rebound chaser, post lockdown, intimidator, and interceptor. I think if you want a little bit more defense, you go with the Eddie Curry. If you want a little more offense, you go with a guy like Kristaps Porzingis. And in, my, in this case, I'm gonna have Porzingis just barely above Eddie Curry for the one reason that I think him on offense is really good. He's a way better offensive card than Eddie Curry. And I think him being seven foot three. With a seven foot seven with a seven foot six wingspan is going to help him out a lot on the defensive end and grabbing rebounds as well but i do have christoph porzingis coming in at the number nine spot number eight this might surprise a lot of people it is going to be dark matter dwight howard he's a center power forward six foot eleven seven foot four wingspan he's got a 74 three 74 three ball 80 mid range 96 b 96 acceleration i will say defensively and athleticism wise dwight howard is literally the best of the best 98 block, 98 interior, 90 perimeter, 95 steel, as well as having a 98 driving dunk and 98 standing dunk. Great rebounder as well. The one thing with me though, I feel like his jump shot is very inconsistent. When we look at the animations, it is Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard on quick release timing. And personally, I do not like that jump shot. I find it very hard to green. And I do feel like he doesn't knock down that many whites. He can get every shooting badge in the game, which is super nice. I do think he is still a very good center. And if you want a defensive guy, Dwight Howard is definitely going to be the center for you. Coming in at the number seven spot, kind of self-explanatory, going to be Galaxy Silva Yao Ming. Center, seven foot six tall, seven foot nine wingspan, 73 three ball, 93 mid range, obviously super slow, 96 block, 93 interior, decent defense overall, but really good uh, inside the paint. 95 standing dunk, 75 driving dunk, obviously a great rebounder. Hall of Fame rim protector, post lockdown, intimidator, defensive leader, brick wall, and box. Has goal bullet passer and bailout, which is nice. Even comes with Hall of Fame set shooter, which is super good. Can get pretty much, yeah, he can get every shooting badge in the game you'd want. Jump shot is not the best. Set shot eight, release 102 on normal timing. But like I said, it's Yao Ming. He's basically a mash man. Gonna be really good at mashing in the paint. And he's obviously gonna snag rebounds and play some really good defense. And coming in at the number six spot, is going to be Ralph Sampson. I think you can debate who's better, Yao Ming or Ralph Sampson. They pretty much do the same thing on the court. Ralph Sampson, center, seven foot four tall, seven foot eight wingspan. He is a little bit faster than Yao Ming. And I do like his jump shot a little bit more because it's on quick release timing and he has a higher three ball and has more shooting badges like Hall of Fame catch and shoot, set shooter, has gold green machine, hot zone hunter, fade ace, and difficult shots. So I do think Ralph Sampson is a little bit better defensively than a guy like Yao Ming because He's a bit more versatile on the defensive end. He's a lot faster, has a 91 interior, 92 block, 89 steel, 82 perimeter, 95 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk. 
obviously a great rebounder a great rebounder as well as hall of fame rim protector rebound chaser post lockdown intimidator chase down artist brick wall and box like i said kind of the same thing as yao ming just gonna be really good at mashing in the paint they both have really good height and really good wingspan which is going to help them out on the defensive end and going to help them out grabbing rebounds halfway into this list at number five is going to be dark matter patrick ewing he's a center power forward seven foot tall seven foot three wingspan he's got an 85 three ball 99 mid-range 90 speed 90 acceleration really good overall defense but has a 95 block 97 interior defense as well as an 88 steal and 84 perimeter defense 90 driving dunk 90 standing dunk can even handle the ball a little bit with 83 ball handle and 87 speed with ball great rebounder with 97 offensive 97 defensive has all the defensive hall of fame badges you would want on him as goal bailout bullet passer quick first step as hall of fame sniper set shooter fade ace, typical shots corner specialist and catch and shoot and we look at the animation surprisingly patrick ewing actually got a very good jump shot on quick release timing in the past two k's Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing has always been terrible at a terrible jump shot, but this year they actually made this Patrick Ewing card really good. And I do think he is a top five center in my team. This is where we start getting to some really good centers. I do like Patrick Ewing a lot, but I think these next four kind of are, are for me, are in a kind of a tier up above the past guys. Obviously the centers we just looked at are still top elite centers in the game, but I do think these next four guys are kind of the best of the best. And you could argue any of these guys are the best center in my team. At number four though, we do have Galaxy Hakim Hakeem Olajuwon. He's a center power forward, seven foot tall, seven foot three wingspan. Really good overall center, 87 three ball, 94 mid range, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 92 block, 97 interior, has an 85 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, 94 defensive rebound, 94 offensive, all fame rim protector, rebound chaser, intimidator, interceptor, clamps, pretty much has all you'd want on the defensive end. And then offensively even has Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, and set shooter, as well as goal blinders, dead eye, hot zone hunter, and sniper. I think the sniper is gonna really help him out on the offensive end, knock down some of those whites. And then we look at the animations, has his set shot 18, which in my opinion is actually a very good big man jump shot, and it's on quick release timing. I know a lot of people do like Patrick Ewing's release a little bit better than Hakeem, but I'm kind of different. I like Hakeem's release a little bit more than Patrick Ewing. Coming in at the number three spot is going to be Dark Matter Artist Gilmore. He's a center, seven foot two tall, seven foot five wingspan. He's got an 83 ball, 91 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 95 block, 92 steal, 87 perimeter, and 98 interior defense. Has a 90 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. Great rebounder. Has all, pretty much all of the defensive badges on Hall of Fame. Has gold bullet passer, unpluckable, and bailout. Gold catch and shoot, corner specialist, fade ace, hot zone hunter, and set shooter. I do think he's the third best center in my team, mainly due to his height and his wingspan, seven foot two with a seven foot five wingspan. He has a decent enough three ball, a decent release. Jump shot one on quick timing is not a bad release. I do think he can green a bunch of shots and he can definitely knock down a bunch of whites if you do give him the sniper badge. And obviously on the defensive end, I think he's really good. So overall, Artis Gilmore, the third best center in my team. I think most people could guess who the top two centers in my team are. And at number two is gonna be Dark Matter Cream for me. I know a lot of people have him as the best center in my team. I'll explain in a second why I have him a little bit lower than the center at number one. But looking at Cream here, pretty much, well, exactly the same height and the same wingspan as Artis Gilmore. One, one lower three ball at 79, 95 mid range, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. I do think overall he's a way better defender than Artis Gilmore, having a 95 block, 92 steel, 91 lateral, 90 perimeter, and 96 interior defense, 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. I think if we're comparing Kareem to Artis Gilmore, they do, they do basically everything the same. I just think Kareem's jump shot is a little bit better and he's a little bit better on the defensive end. So who would I rather on offense? I would rather Kareem. And who would I rather on defense? It is also going to be Cream, but it is super close. You could definitely say Artis Gilmore is a better center, but in my opinion, I have Cream at number two. And at number one, like I said, this might surprise a lot of people, but it is going to be Galaxy Bull D Rob. I think everyone could agree he's a top three center in my team. If you don't agree with that, you probably definitely agree with him being a top five. But for me, I do think he is the best center in my team as of right now. He's a center power forward, seven foot one, seven foot five wingspan. He's going 91 three ball, 96 mid range, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. Maybe not as good as on the defensive end as a Kareem, you know, all around defender, but he's still a really good interior defender. 94 block, 95 interior, has a 90 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk. 
You can actually handle the ball really well for your center. 86 ball handle, 89 speed with ball. Great rebounder, has all the defensive Hall of Fame badges you'd want. Like chase down artist, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, post lockdown, rebound chaser, and rim protector. Has Hall of Fame quick first step, which is super nice. Comes with Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, and sniper. Has gold blinders, hot zone hunter, and limitless spot up. And to me, the big factor of why David Robinson is the best center in my team is going to come down to his jump shot being on, on quick release timing. I do think David Robinson, David Robinson on quick is the best big man jump shot in my team right now. He's a better jump shot than Aris Gilmore, a better jump shot than Kareem, a better jump shot than Hakeem, a better jump shot than Patrick Ewing. So I think that's the main reason why I, why I have David Robinson at number one. But like I said, let me know in the comment section down below, what would you guys change about my list and who are your guys' top 10 centers in my team? Hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.